I'm Wayne Tuttle and welcome to Chasing Legends of the Superstition Mountains. Good afternoon, this is Wayne Tuttle of Legend of the Superstition Mountains, and today I'm showing you our new line of t-shirts with these two guys. Go into represent.com slash Legend of the Superstition Mountains, and you can end up as cool as these guys. So pick them up, $24.99. Thank you. Welcome back to Chasing Legends. I'm Wayne Tuttle, and today we're going to review a book, um, a book by someone I've known for a number of years. Um, first off, if you get a chance, his previous books, Crooked Mountain, The Legend Continues by Ron Feldman, and uh, recently updated release, Zigzag Canyon, The Legend of Gold Gulch by Ron Feldman and Mc McPherson. Just two of a number of books that Ron's written over the years. Um, but just recently, Ron released Lost Dutchman Goldmine, Evolution of a Treasure Hunter. And uh, I picked this up, first 24 hours I read it through set it down for a day, enjoyed it very, very much. And then I picked it up again and read back right through it. Um, that's always a sign of a book that's well written and um, you kind of enjoy. I know I've, I've known Ron for a number of years and, and Jesse and Josh, and that kind of puts you in that position of, well, I kind of know the guy, so um, maybe it, it's more of a personal nature of the interest. But uh, it was well written. I, I was at first a bit surprised it wasn't written in the first person narrative I expected for an autobiography, but it actually worked very, very well. Um, most of this book is Ron's earliest years um, when he first came out to Arizona with his brother, and I'm not going to give a lot of the plot or anything away on it, but, and then quite a number of years of his partnership with Brian Lickman, who I also know very well. And um, I, I really liked that. I liked the narrative style. I liked the way it was written. Um, kind of in a way, kind of that fictional history, but it's a nonfiction book. Um, I would say the closest thing I could say to it in a, in, a, in a way, and it's not the same, would be Center's Gold by Helen Corbin, which is another favorite book of mine. So I really enjoyed this. It also explores on John Cochera's, his introduction to Ron, and a bit about the John Cochera story, the heat excavation dig, and Ron's possible solution to the mystery of the Lost Dutchman mine. So I can't say enough how much I enjoyed the book. Thank you, Ron. I'm sure if you request, I don't know how he does this but I'm sure he signs most all these books if not all of them and uh, they're available at the OK Corral gift shop so if you're in Apache Junction you can swing on by there pick one up we'll put the information up of where you can order th from and get one from Ron so um, congratulations Ron job really well done really enjoyed it it's gonna get up there on my bookshelf and I'm sure I'm gonna be going and giving it a third reading here shortly how much I enjoyed it so um, Ron Feldman Lost Dutchman Goldmine, Evolution of a Treasure Hunter. Um, highly recommended. Thank you for joining us in Chasing Legends. I know it's a bit, we're cutting out of here in a bit of a short one. But uh, again, you know, Ron, longtime resident of Apache Junction, longtime Dutch hunter and packer in the Superstition Mountains. Pick up his new book, okay? Will you have a good day? And we will catch you next time on Legend of the Superstition Mountains.